John Sewell with Ingimit.com. This is the Peak Designs Travel Tripod, the aluminum version. There is, of course, a carbon version as well. It's a little bit lighter and costs a couple hundred dollars more. This is 350 US. And like all Peak Designs products, even the packaging is attractive and sleek. Uh, let's open it up and see what we have on the inside. All right, here is the protective case for the tripod. Really nice design, rubberized straps, attachment points if you want to use a carabiner and such. Reminds me a lot of the Tech Travel Pouches. We have reviews on all their accessories as well. Weatherproof zippers, as you can see. Robust design, protective material, weather resistant. Uh, so I, I love all their accessories. So this bag is really, really nice. Within it is the actual tripod itself. Now I've had a tripod about a month and a half now. I've been wanting to test it for quite a long time and I'm really excited it came in. As you can see, very sleek construction. It's very narrow. For reference, here is my water bottle that I carry in my purse in the 32 ounce, and it is more streamlined and narrow than the water bottle. So let's see, is it 3.1 inches around 15.2 inches tall. So very packable. I put it inside of my padding on your backpack or if I'm in the elements, then I put it inside the backpack. And the carbon version, is, I believe 2.8 pounds and this one is 3.5. So here we have the tripod tabletop mode. It'll go even lower, of course. You have one more adjustment right there. So you can get those legs really, really low. I was at 5.6 inches is the lowest it gets. Everything just locks into place super nice. All right, the first thing, if this is your first time seeing this, you're probably wondering, where is the ball head? Let me show you. So there's the center column right here, and push it up just a little bit. It'll extend higher, of course, but for sake of this video, I'll have it right here. Now, if I loosen this guy, again, there's no knobs to twist per se, just one knob to rotate, lefty-loosey, righty-tighty. I have it loosened, so here is that ball head. Pretty cool, huh? So get it to where you want it, righty tighty, you're good to go. There is of course a bubble level right there to keep you level. And then it comes with the Peak Designs quick clip, which I'm sure you guys all are aware of. And I love this one. Um, of course, some people do complain about it because it is a Allen key or hex key accessory right there. But they have you covered on the leg right here is a little slot and in there is two hex keys. And you have the appropriate one for here. And then if you need to tighten this anytime, it is the same key right there. Now I'm not complaining about that at all because I, as a split border, always carry um, hex keys and well as Torx keys, 25 and 30 Torx, because of my Phantom hard boot setup. So that aside, how you ex add it to it is you have the clip unlocked simply pop it in, boom, it's good to go. And then you'll see right there, it's a lock and an unlock logo. Simply put it to lock. Now it is locked in there. So there it is, um, the ball head, quick access. Um, it's just super, super streamlined. Now, the only complaint I have is with mount on there, it will not fit in the bag. You saw it before, it's a very, very tight fit, but, um, like you, I have uh, quick release plates on the bottom of my camera, so I already have the mount built in, so that is that takes care of that. I just like to keep this on my tripods generally because if I'm using somebody else's camera, other gear, it's nice to have that accessory there. All right, let's loosen him up and get him to the full height. Now you have these quick access clips, like so. Real smooth, very stable. So let's just get this guy to the full height so I can show you what it looks like. And I'm not setting any speed records here, that is for sure. I've seen a person do this in eight seconds. Impressive. Again, I'm just taking my time to show you how this thing works. You can get accessory attachment for the bottom of the feet to play in dirt and such. But there we go. There is full height, 60 inches right there which is a great height for reference. I'm 73 inches, so six foot one. So this is a fantastic height. Now to pack him up, simply get that all in place and loosen all of these guys. 
Again, I'm not going for any speed records here. I'm just showing you simply how it works. I must have missed. There he is. That's what I missed. Boom. Boom. So obviously with more practice, it becomes very streamlined and smooth. But for how I've been using this, which is filming and photography here in Colorado in the mountains, it has been really fantastic. It's exceeded all my expectations. And again, I'm a huge fan of Peak Designs. We have reviews up on pretty much everything they have on their website, whether it's from me or James Terry or other photographers and videographers on our engagement team. We flip and love Peak Designs, and I think you can probably see why. So hopefully me going through the features and functions and how I use it and how it looks and how it operates was helpful. It is a significant investment. Um, and it's not the lightest tripod either. I have a tripod here from a different company that I liked as a little bit lighter and it packs up to about the same size, if not smaller. Unfortunately, it only goes to 50 inches, which is damn right unusable in my opinion. So I never go for that anymore. I used to go for it all the time, but I'd have to find a rock or a hood of my truck or boxes like this at the gym to put it on. Not anymore. Peak Designs Travel Tripod has everything covered. Way more stable. It'll handle 20 pounds of load. That little one only has those five pounds. So no problem handling a mirrorless camera with the nicer prime lenses like I'm shooting on right now, or even smaller cameras. And in fact, it comes with a uh, mobile phone tripod right there that I don't use, but if that's what you're using to film with or shoot with, then fantastic. It's built in right there. You don't have to carry another accessory. So hopefully this overview was helpful for you. This is Sean Sewell with Engagement.com. Got any questions, which I hope you do, put them in the comments below. Until next time, take care.